People ask me all the time, Eric, is there a simple, cheap way I can get into 3D just to learn or for my own amusement and hobby or just to do little personal projects or even professional projects on a smaller scale? Because I don't have money for LightWave or Houdini or Maya, and I might want to use it in a school setting or a professional setting, and the PLEs won't cut it sometimes, and they're watermarked. Is there any way I can get a cheap application to do this? Because these applications are between $800 and $12,000, you know, for a complete package. So, you know, there is and there isn't. There is a great modeling tool for OS X called Cheetah 3D. And it is a wonderful little 3D application for 100 bucks, um, 150 bucks, depending on when you get it. Um, it's got a great renderer. It's fast. And it's a great modeler. Now, there's no fluids or fur or cloth, but it's a wonderful 3D modeler. An animator, you can animate with it and animate your models. And it's a really, really great little package to begin with. Okay? It's not going to take you very far. I mean, it can take you pretty far. I shouldn't say that, but... You know, it's great place to start. So let's get started and build a little model. This is not really a tutorial. This is just to show you how this kind of works and uh, what it's like and what a little bit of what it's capable of. Um, so I'm going to go up here and lay down me a polygon. I'm going to lay down a cylinder. I'm going to go over here and set my proportions so it works out. Everything works out okay. Like that right there. Now let me zoom out a little bit. Now, like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is just kind of a demonstration of, you know, how this thing works and and, and um, what, what you can do with it. So, um, let's go ahead and make our object editable. Now, as you can see, we have our little polygons here. So, let's go ahead and let's make a, let's make a cup. So I'm going to select these little polygons and I'm going to extrude these. A little bit like so and we're going to do that again like that let's now let's go under here and let's select this face and this face and let's delete it so now let's merge these two by bridging them I'm going to bridge this point and this point. And now, as you can see, we have a rough base outline for our cup. So let's go on a little bit further with this. I selected, well, let's go ahead and do a ring, a ring cut down here at the bottom, like so. Let's select our edges here let's go into edge mode and we'll do a loop select and as you can see when I do that it looped around like that so let's scale this up a little bit like so let's convert it to polygons Now we got our top selected here. We want to pull that down in a little bit because we're going to use that to simulate our water. Which, you know, there's no fluids in this little application, but, you know, we're just trying to um, make this look the best we can. Now, if I rendered it now, the, this surface here and this cup would be the same. They would be um, together, they would be the same surface. We want to, you know, make these separate surfaces. So, I'm going to select my edge there, as you can see. Now, as you can see, that's blue. Let's also select these creases under here. Okay, so far we got this little base 
um, beginnings of a cup here. So let me go into polygon mode and select this top here like this. Just click and drag. Okay. I'm going to crumple it. That will distort it a, a little bit. Okay. So now let's go to, let's deselect everything. Let's do a subdivide. Okay. Now we've got our subdivide here. Now we have this little coffee mug. As you can see, I don't like these creases here. I don't like this. So let's go into our edge mode. And we'll select it. And we'll toggle those creases. And as you see, that gets rid of that. Let's do this one. We'll do this one too. And the last one under here. Like so. Okay. Now I guess we could add a material to it just to, you know, just to make it stand out a little bit. I'll select that right there. I'll go down to my materials. I'll add a normal material. Let's make it blue. We'll drag that onto our selection there. And now, when I render this, you'll see we have our cup. Let's get a little bit closer so we can get a better look at it. And there we go. Quick, fast model. It looks good. Decent. And this is a perfect, beautiful little application to get your feet wet within 3D, to begin designing your own models, to get your head wrapped around how certain things work, and um, just 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 a good place to start, guys. It really, really is. You'll be surprised at some of the work you can do with this little application. You can go to their website and look at the gallery. There's some really fantastic little works being 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 put out of this. So give it a shot. Cheetah 3D, 99 bucks on sale, 150 regular. It's worth it. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys.